The goal of the sexual liberation movement is to remove any and all barriers against sexual freedom. That begins with breaking down modesty and morality. The national sexuality education standards are built on SICUS. These national standards include performance indicators of what children should know and be able to do by the end of grades two, five, eight, and 12, all developed by Kinsey trained sex educators. Beginning in grades K through two, they will learn about same sex parents and all family types. In grades three through five, they will be taught the male and female reproductive systems, including body parts, their functions, describe the process of human reproduction, and be able to define sexual orientation. These are children ages nine to 11. In grades six through eight, they will be able to know how to access contraceptives, condoms, and emergency contraception. They will learn the difference between gender identity, gender expression, and sexual orientation. In grades nine through 12, more of the same is repeated. They will also learn how to get contraceptives and abortions without their parents' knowledge or consent. Students at this grade level must be able to describe the full act of sexual intercourse. The human sexual response cycle is what it is called, from beginning to end in detail. They will also learn how to get information about rape and getting treated for STDs, which they most likely will have by that time. By the time children graduate from high school, they will be skilled in approving of and experimenting with all kinds of sexually diverse behaviors. The National Sexuality Education Standards are built on SICUS. SICUS is built on Kinsey, the rotten foundation all based on fraud and crimes against children. Sex education has taken a dangerous turn by normalizing unhealthy sex acts. As a result, we are sinking to a new low in levels of deviant experimentation.